What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. <laughs> Today, Randy and I are going for a beautiful walk uh, outside in the lovely Quad Cities. We're we getting are, our steps. Yeah, we're getting our steps in. We're getting nice and hungry because in a few hours we're going to be making the short drive over to Iowa City, Iowa, where we're going to be eating an entire Mexican food menu over at Pinchero's. So that is going to be crazy. I guess they're a chain restaurant, but we're really excited that they invited us out to take on their entire menu each, by the way. So that should be fantastic, amazing, and very challenging. So hunger is a real thing. I, I wouldn't call this walking what we're doing today, though. This is more of a slow waddle. Shut but... up. <laughs> my freaking... <laughs> but anyways, we will catch you guys. I feel like we're going back. <laughs> We'll catch you guys at Panchero's when the food arrives. Poncheros on Clinton Street in downtown Iowa City, Iowa. This looks crazy insane. I'm super honored to be at their original location when there's like over 70 locations across the country. That is absolutely wild, but a big thank you to Poncheros for having us out here. This looks incredible, but in front of me, I do have one of every menu item here. So I have a giant burrito. I have one of their burrito bowls. I have a quesadilla. I have all of their tacos with all the different meats in it. I also have one of their salads. And then in addition to that I have their ever so famous blue corn tortilla chips with queso. I am going to have one hour to finish everything you see in front of me. If I'm successful I do get this $80 spread for free. I do get a big old goodie box full of t-shirts and a koozie and I think some stickers for my MacBook and I'm also wearing one of the uh, the shirts now. Shameless plug so I definitely have to earn this meal though really excited to try this. My first time ever trying Pancheros but there ain't nothing to it but to do it. I am very nervous. This is a lot of food. Let's get this challenge started. Here back. That was your yeah. Yeah, that was your key. Thank you. Well played. Well played. I am nervous. This is a lot of food. Without further delay, one, two, three. Let's eat us some delicious Tex Mex. That's a big burrito. Ooh. Me like. What is up, Kilo Crew? And welcome to a rather super-sized menu challenge, if you couldn't tell by this burrito. This is loaded with cilantro, rice, and chicken, but voiceover Katina will give you all the dirty details. <laughs> mm. I really have to shut up and eat to finish all this. Quite true, but I believe my mouth continues to do a lot of uh, flapping anyway. <laughs> The burrito is bigger than me. The burrito came in at just over two pounds, if you can believe it, and was loaded with chicken, rice, black beans, pico, the huge. It was insane. I don't think this white shirt's gonna stay white very long. I spoke too soon here. The burrito actually stayed together really well, and that's because they use their own hand-pressed homemade tortillas, and they wrap it really, really tight. Also, happy birthday to Poncheros, who's celebrating their dirty 30 this year. I thought it was super cool that they had been around that long. I had never heard of them because I've never lived in an area with one, but have you guys been? I feel like they're popular. Final jumbo bite of a jumbo burrito. That was exquisite. Now I'm going to jump out these blue corn tortilla chips so you can see them in all of their blue corn glory. They look wonderful, although I do still have a little bit of PTSD from eating five pounds of nachos yesterday, but that doesn't stop me from being excited. Queso pull. Mmm, that is good queso. Queso, queso. Ooh. I'm no longer scared. These are delicious. <laughs> yeah, I still say it like interchangeably. It's either queso, queso, I don't know, maybe because I watch too much like British television and they say queso, <laughs> but either way, it was delicious. It was cheese. That is delicious, but 
I'm gonna be smart and save those tor till towards the end. I'm gonna work on this quesadilla. Of course, can't go wrong with a quesadilla. Even more cheese. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a big fan, big fan. A little salsa action. In addition to all of the cheese that was in the quesadilla, there was also a bunch of their pulled pork carnitas, which were obviously amazing. This is excellent. Everything was so fresh, so wonderful. You could taste the love and everything. I really had no complaints other than, you know, the quantity. I'm sad, but I shouldn't be, but final bite of the quesadillas. Mm. That was awesome. All right, and just to make me feel a little bit better about myself, I'm gonna work on some tacos and then start the bowls. Cause I feel like clearing plates will make me a little more confident. Cause right now I'd be scared. <laughs> Not afraid to admit I was nervous going into this one. Day three in a row of food challenges. Ugh. This one's steak, steak taco, yum. Of the four meats, steak ended up winning my heart. It was extra flavorful and I liked the nice chew to it. This is ridiculous y'all, whoa. <laughs> if you have a Ponchero's near you, just come Eat whatever you want, it's amazing. I really don't understand how I've never lived by one. I know that dieting me would love to come and do the salads and stuff, so ugh, I'm missing out. I'm gonna make this extra messy, add some salsa. Next up we have a chicken taco. And the ta tacos also have some of that flav volcano, I think is how you pronounce it, sauce on it, which is Pretty spicy, you can see the bottle of it in the front here. It has a little bit of kick to it, but not an unenjoyable amount. Just right, like Goldilocks. Okay, okay, so I don't know about just right like Goldilocks. It was a bit aggressive for me, but I also have a really wimpy palate, but it really did have a nice smoky flavor to it. Kind of like a chipotle sort of pepper flavor. I don't know. Messy equals flavor, you guys know how it goes. And these tacos definitely fit the bill of both flavorful and messy, as evidence of me continually mopping my face with a hand towel. Half the tacos are down. Now I'm gonna work on one of these bowls. I'm jazzed for this salad, actually. Next up is going to be this amazing tofu salad, which comes with a cilantro lime vinaigrette. So that sounds super fancy. Let's sauce it up. I should have been polite like mama always taught me and try it without sauce first, but I'm a more is more kind of person. Tofu salad, loaded with healthy veggies, as my boy Ramble would say. Ooh, ooh, that is good. Mmm, this tastes like summer. This is gonna help me work on my beach bod. It also didn't hurt that, you know, the salad was absolutely loaded with sour cream, guacamole, and of course, cheese. That is crazy good flavor. I know people say it all the time where it's like, I wouldn't know it's tofu, but like really, I wouldn't know it's tofu. That is incredible. If no one had told me, I probably really wouldn't have asked. I would have just assumed it was maybe chicken or something. The tofu really held its own. All right, now I've also got it on good authority that dipping the blue corn tortilla chips into queso and then into one of the bowls is a pro move. And so that is exactly what I'm going to do. We're gonna go for a very hearty queso bite with some cheese pull onto this delicious salad. Ooh, salad move. This is gonna be the monstrous bite ever. I don't think this is gonna work out. Rest in peace, white t-shirt. Ah, oh, but alas, I have acquired a certain set of skills. Mm-hmm. That was amazing. This queso is like really good. And I'm from Wisconsin now, I know cheese. If uh, anyone wants to start a queso versus queso counter in the comments, feel free. I would be intrigued to see your stats and numbers. Final scrapings of this delicious salad bowl. I've had a few videos like this now where recently I've been like, wow, what a great salad. I never thought I'd say that, but wow, what a great salad. Mm. No oh, clap. Other than some juicy bits, I'm gonna call that a Randy approved level of clean. <laughs> Next up is of course more chips because when you can have enough chips. Ugh. With some burrito in a bowl. Sorry, I was singing to you all. It was my lullaby. All right, it is massive burrito bowl time after that very rude sound effect I just made with some guac. The burps may be rude, but it made room for more food and, you know, better out than in, they always say. I was wearing the queso as like a chapstick or a lipstick. It wasn't a good look for me. Now I'm going to turn this thing into a taco salad. This isn't a real thing, but I'm gonna make it a thing because it sounds delicious and it makes the plate look more condensed. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but we're gonna try it. Whew. Sounded great in theory, but didn't work too well in practice. The bowl was a bit too full to uh, mix the chips in too thoroughly. I'm just gonna dump the rest of this cheese onto the salad too, why not? You can never have too much cheese. Look at that's double C thick too. Ooh. All right, there's that. I really hope my doctor isn't watching this. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I think everyone just sits at home spooning nacho cheese, right? Right? Come on, back me up in the comments. 
Oh, this is good, but it's day three in a row of eating and I'm feeling a little bit fluffy today. But we trying. Thank goodness it's so heart healthy. At least I had high spirits. I had good humor. It was a beautiful day in Iowa City. I had never been before. The area is stunning. You can't be upset when you're there. I'll have you know these are supersized portions of all of their meals here, so when you come in, it won't be a struggle, but you may still be taking home leftovers. Hey, the regular portions are rather hearty and nothing to shake a stick at. I saw some of the other burritos coming out there. Wow. <laughs> Fun fact, just went and visited the world's largest wooden nickel earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, saw it in that kind of intro footage there, uh, giant wood nickel. Pro tip, when you come to Puncheros, order the full menu, but with your full family. Not one person. <laughs> Life coaching with Katina. <laughs> that will be 20 bucks PayPal. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I might have lied about not unbuttoning my jeans earlier. May or may not have undone a button right after the camera stopped rolling. Final big bite of the bowl, and there's just the little scrapey bits and onto the tacos. Oh. I have a couple grains of rice left in here. I don't want to catch flack from Randy. Randy is like the leave no doubt conscience. He's always watching. <laughs> taco. When you hear the word tacos these days, you imagine street tacos. These are not street tacos. These are man tacos. Or Katina tacos. Whoa, that is juicy. All right, I think I am about to do chicken. Yep, chicken taco. These suckers were not for those with a low appetite, that is for sure. Oh, that is good. Get a little salsa in its life though. As full as I was, I was still really enjoying myself at this point, adding salsa to stuff, adding more flavor, and typically when I start to get full, the, the flavor tones down a bit. A walk action, maybe even a lot of walk action. I don't know, pick your poison. Oh. I really enjoy like the mouthfeel, I guess, of guacamole, how it makes everything kind of like mushy and wonderful and adds that little extra layer of fatty flavor. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but maybe that's just me. Final taco is loaded with tofu. <laughs> which according to all the hardcore meat eaters out there, is basically rabbit food. So this should be pretty easy to eat. Yeah, when you eat meat, you talk like this. I'm just poking a little fun if you're an avid meat eater. I am myself. I know we don't all talk like that. <laughs> I literally have guacamole up in my ears, but that means I'm liking it. And my apologies for the aggressive camera change right here. My main camera did overheat, so this is Randy's camera now. So that just means I took way too long eating. <laughs> my bad. The tofu zada in the Flay Volcano definitely had some kick to it when not dosed in sour cream. Final big bite, then the scrapey bits, and it's on to the end of the bread. Here we go. And on that voice cracking note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Official final bite, here's to y'all. seconds was my final time to beat the entire Pancheros menu challenge. That was so delicious, so wonderful. I think my favorite thing was probably the burrito, followed closely by one of those tacos. I'm gonna go with steak taco. But anyways, for winning, I do get this $80 spread for free. I do get this groovy gift box, which is loaded with groovy t-shirts, a groovy koozie, and a couple of stickers. And I do get my name and photo up on the Pancheros Wall of Fame. And uh, if you have a Pancheros near you, please go out and try some of it because it's wonderful. But anywho, if you like this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will of course catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye! Oh, I need a moment to just feel bad for myself. <laughs>